Good morning, folks. The CME shockwave from Friday night's solar flare has struck Earth's magnetic field. We'll take a full look at the impact and diagnose the risks and go over alerts already sent. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and peek in on the last 24 hours on our star. Coronal hole at the north coming in. Departing sunspots still seemingly active. However, while we watched the sunspots turn and expected a minor coronal hole stream impact, the intense CME solar wind arrived almost 24 hours earlier than NASA and NOAA predicted. Space weather! The shock wave struck around 6 a.m. UTC, causing immediate magnetosphere compression and delivering vastly increased electromagnetic pressure on the Earth's system. When this occurred, the radiation storm affecting polar ionization tagged in the CME shockwave to strengthen those atmospheric effects already ongoing. There was immediate onset of ground magnetic perturbation, which continued building for a few hours. This is mostly compression effects, but the ones you will see in the coming hours to days are induced from the auroral and equatorial electrojets. Solar wind telemetry shows that the shockwave was very dense, albeit not as hot and fast as one would expect from such an early arrival. Geomagnetic disruptions are underway, as those with the Disaster Prediction app know, and a geomagnetic health alert of the cardiac and psychiatric nature is in effect too. That one came through about an hour after the geomagnetic storm alert. We got this page linked for you today, Space Weather Health Alerts Based on Various Space Weather Events. Today, seizure, migraine, anxiety, and cognitive diminution are also concerns. Bit of good news is that what we worried about was a coronal hole stream impact and then the CME for a compounding impact scenario, but the CME clearly overtook the coronal hole stream. Major troubles with transformers, airlines, and airport radar, GPS, internet, and communications can begin any time and last through the peak of the geomagnetic disturbance, but it shouldn't be as bad as it could have been. While we'll have eyes open for those, note that another small series of flares did occur at the departing active regions. In 304 angstroms, you can see just how much plasma activity is present in the corona and photosphere, and watching only the corona above those regions reveals that at least one of the events put out a CME. Luckily, at this point, the regions have turned away from Earth enough that the burst is headed out in front of Earth's orbit by about two or three months. No chance for impact. Looking ahead, the sunspots are indeed departing, so geoeffective space weather risks diminish there, but that does not apply to the incoming coronal hole up north. Solar wind expected from that one on Wednesday, but the quake watch with its IMF and kinetic alpha waves begins as today's geomagnetic disruptions begin to fade. Folks, we drew our two pre-registration award winners yesterday. Congratulations to James S. from Phoenix, Arizona and Ralph D. of Draper, Utah. You two won the drawing yesterday for pre-registration award room upgrades to Observing the Frontier 2018. Check your emails today. Next chance to win free tickets to Observing the Frontier comes through QuakeWatch.net. Remember the prizes for correctly forecasting the next magnitude 7 earthquake are lifetime membership, a free ticket to the conference, and for full website members, the prize is up to $500. Contest page is here and linked for you below, but just remember the contest page says 7.5 and we have dropped it back down due to being in the most severe magnitude 7 earthquake drought on record. We had tornadoes drop in the United States last night. Folks were present enough to get some good footage of the twisters and the damage they left behind. We have a new Deeper Look episode posted yesterday for SuspiciousObservers.org website members. We've discovered a new solar climate connection. We did the rough, hard stats work and we will aim to publish, but you get the first look. We've got your wind maps, storms coming at Greece, New Zealand, and Vietnam. Also got a null school run and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.
Space weather! Space weather! Space weather!